Today, we're going to be recreating this super cute wreath I found on Etsy, and we're going to see if we can make it for less. To start, I have this grapevine wreath from Dollar Tree, as well as this wooden cutout of a truck that I had previously painted red for a different DIY. And I have this gorgeous autumnal plaid ribbon from Michaels, which has red, yellow, blue, and orange. And then I have all of these beautiful fall florals, which are all from the dollar store. I have a variety of flowers, acorns, leaves, and berries. And I won't be using all of these, but these are the ones that I'm going to be choosing from today. First off, I'm going to paint my truck orange. This orange paint is from Dollar Tree. And now I'm adding my first coat of paint covering up the red. This is what it looked like after one coat. Now I'm going to be painting the box of the truck and I had to play around with this color quite a bit here. First, I thought I was gonna start with a mix of the orange and this pinkish red color in Cinnamon Drop from Deco Art. So I mixed those two together. It was looking a little bit too pink, so I added some more of the orange. I thought it was looking a little pink, so I tried to fix it by adding some of this red paint from Dollar Tree and mixing that in. But as soon as I started painting it onto the truck, I did not like how it looked at all. I wanted more of a dark orange, and this was definitely more of a pinky red. So starting again, I have the orange paint from Dollar Tree and I'm adding a few drops of black paint to it. Then I'm adding more of the orange, mixing it around and I wanted to brighten it up a little bit. So I'm adding a little bit of yellow paint to this mixture, then stirring it around. And I'm continuing to do this, adding some orange and yellow back and forth, mixing it until I have a nice orange color. And it wasn't exactly what I was going for. I wanted more of a deep orange, but I was trying to just work with what I had here. So I'm painting my box with this new orange color. Now the box is all painted, but I really just wasn't loving it. So I'm adding a bit of this burnt umber to the same orange and then going over the box again with the paint. And now I'm adding another coat of orange paint onto the main part of the truck. Now I had previously painted this grapevine wreath a few different times and I thought I would go in this time with this raw sienna color from Deco Art mixed with some black and paint the whole wreath. Now in the end, the entire wreath ends up getting covered up with the truck and all of the florals and everything. So this was definitely an unnecessary step and I could have saved a lot of time by not doing this. Also, I think the dark brown color I had there before was just fine. Now on to making a bow. I have this wired ribbon from Michaels. And first I'm measuring out how long I want the tail to be. Then from there, I'm making a loop, then another loop next to it that's a little bit smaller, and another loop after that that is the same size as the first loop. Now you can see the bow starting to form. Now I'm making another loop, and this one is going at the bottom of the bow, just underneath the middle loop. And this one is the same size as the two side loops. Now I'm twisting the ribbon a little bit and making another loop, to put on the bottom of the bow. So I have those three loops going across and then two loops at the bottom. Now I'm twisting my ribbon and making two more loops, this time at the top of the bow. Now I have this gorgeous full looking bow and I'm taking a brown pipe cleaner and wrapping it around the base of the bow and twisting it. 
then weaving it across the bow and making sure it's holding the whole thing together and none of the loops are going to come apart. Now I'm cutting off the other end of the bow to match the first tail. I'm cutting the ends of each tail at an angle. I'm placing my wooden truck at the bottom of the wreath and I'm not going to attach it yet, but I'm just placing it there so I have an idea of where I'm going to be putting all of my florals. But if you didn't want it to move around while you're doing all of this, you could definitely glue it in place first. Now I'm taking all of these super cute leaves and berries all in these beautiful fall colors and I'm poking them into the grapevine wreath, filling up the whole wreath with all of these beautiful colors. I could not find my wire cutters while I was doing this, so here's a trick if you do not have wire cutters or can't find them like me, you can just use regular scissors and saw away at the wire and then you can bend the wire and it'll break right off. The nice thing about the grapevine wreath is you're able to poke all of these florals into it and get them to stay pretty good. I do end up hot gluing some of the elements to get them to sit just the way I want. But for the most part, you're able to just stick it in to the wreath itself. Now to make a little sign for the back of the truck, I have this cardboard piece, which is actually from one of the Dollar Tree calendars. And I'm holding it up to my wreath to figure out how big I want my little sign to be. And I'm marking on the cardboard with a pen. Then I'm cutting out my cardboard rectangle. Next, I'm taking this cream colored piece of paper and I'm cutting it out to be the exact same size as my cardboard. This next part you could definitely do with a Cricut and some vinyl. Today, I decided not to go that route and to just do it by hand. So I'm writing out hello in cursive font and I want it to have a bit more of a calligraphy look to it. And you'll see what I do later on as a bit of a fake calligraphy. Then I'm writing fall in capital letters underneath. Now going back to the hello text, I'm using my pen and I'm thickening all of the downstrokes. So as you're writing cursive, you know, some of it goes up and then you go around and down to make the H for example. So anytime the pen is going to go down, you want that to be the thick part. So I'm going through the whole word and thickening all of those downstrokes and coloring them in with my black pen. And I'm also making sure to connect all of the letters as I go. And this is the kind of thing where I start off a bit thinner and go through and do the whole word. And then looking back, I make it thicker and thicker because you can always make it thicker, but it's impossible to go back. Obviously, it's a much better idea to just do that. And if you do know how to do calligraphy or if you have calligraphy pens and it'll be a lot less time consuming than what I'm doing here. Once I have the word hello all finished, I'm also thickening up all the letters in the word fall. And since this is just in printing, I'm thickening all of those lines. Now to attach the paper to my cardboard, I'm using a glue stick, adding the glue onto the cardboard, then carefully pressing the paper onto it. I'm now attaching my truck to the wreath using hot glue. I have the truck laying on the wreath where I wanted it to be. Then I'm lifting it up and adding hot glue underneath, then pressing down the truck onto the wreath. For my little hello fall sign, I figured out whereabouts I wanted it to be on the wreath, which is touching the back of the truck. Then I lifted up my sign, added some hot glue and pressed the sign onto the truck. Now, like I said, I am going to be using some hot glue for my florals. Some of the leaves weren't sitting exactly as I wanted, so I'm using my hot glue to manipulate that a little bit and make everything lay nicely. I'm now trimming my bow a little bit because I thought it was covering up the truck a bit too much. Now, I definitely would recommend not doing this until your bow is actually glued onto the wreath because I did end up making the bow tails a little too short once I had actually glued the bow in place. But here I am gluing that bow onto the wreath, then zhuzhing all of the loops of the bow to make it look really nice. Here is the completed rustic fall wreath. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun DIYs. And I'll see you next time.